Hello everyone, it's Road to Retire. Welcome to the Bills to Billions Challenge. And this is going to be the last Bills to Billions Challenge on my channel. And I'll go into that later. First, let's discuss what I made this week and on what. So $226, it was a really good week. Uh, spearheaded by an eBay sale a profit of $104. It was a Wii U system and games that I picked up locally for $130 and I was able to sneak out $104 a profit just because two of the games alone, what one was uh, uh, the Zelda HD remake, which goes for like $90, which is crazy. And then Xenoblade Chronicles, which goes for 60. So those two games alone uh, made more than what I paid for it. And there were still like five other games and the system itself. So made a killing off of that. Remote task, $47. You're not gonna see much more or anything at a remote task. Uh, those were That was two referrals and just some messing around I did with another account. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work out. So yeah, remote task. I've done so many videos on that already saying it's probably over. Uh, we'll see, but it probably is. Data annotation, $58.90, a very solid week there. Mechanical Turk is getting you know little nickels and dimes here and there. Totals up to $12.86, and we earned interest from one of the high-yield savings accounts for $2.74. $226 this week from side hustles. So what's going on? Why am I not doing Bill Civilians Challenge anymore? Well, the reason is, uh, I don't know if shorts feeds like my shorts videos come up uh, at, if you're subscribed or if they come up in general if you were like to look at my channel but I am implementing a new challenge on this channel in general called the 10 10 10 which is earn 10 save 10 walk 10 challenge and basically what it is is every single day I need to earn at least ten dollars in side hustle income I need to put away $10 into a high yield savings account, uh, completely different from the earning of the 10, it's gonna be a completely different separate 10. And then every single day I need to walk 10,000 steps, get back in shape, get a little fitness. What's the point of retiring early if you don't have any fitness and you're fat? So theoretically, if I'm earning $10 every single day, and I'm also putting away an additional $10. So not only am I putting away $10, the $10 that I earn every day was also getting put away, so it stacks. So basically I'm putting away $20 a day, if that makes sense, if I'm earning 10 and saving 10. So theoretically, at the end of a month, if it's 30 days long, should be saving $600 a month minimum into the high yield savings account to grow it as fast as I can and really start the snowball of retire of trying to retire early. So minimum of 600 because there's nothing stopping me from earning more than $10 a day, but the challenge is to earn at least $10 a day. So I already set up the auto deposit, recurring deposits, I should say, into the savings account. So I don't have to worry about that. It's already going to take $10 every single day. And yes, I am including weekends. I have it set to $30 each Friday to make up for that. So that, I think that'll be interesting. And I'm going to, because of that, because I'm doing this challenge every single day, I will be uploading a short every single day, seven days a week, unless something goes wrong. Or if I horrendously fail the challenge or something but i don't want to become just like a shorts channel i don't want to become like a TikTok on youtube um i am still going to be posting long form com content the only reason i'm getting rid of the bills to billions challenge is because well if i'm posting every single day what i'm like what sites i'm getting my money from I really don't see the point in doing a weekly recap because not only am I showing where I'm getting my money from every day, I'm also totaling it as of June 4th, like how much I've made, period, from side hustles starting from today. So doing this 10, 10, 10 challenge is really interesting. I think it's going to give a little uh, spark into my channel and also to my creative side because it's cool to be able to do shorts every single day. I like doing shorts. They don't seem to hit off as well on my channel. I completely understand that. But 
It'll be more fun for me to do and very challenging. Not so much to get the ten dollars a day because you know I'm at right now I'm averaging like four to six dollars a day on YouTube. So you know I probably only need like five dollars split between like Mechanical Turk and data annotation if I really just want to go for the minimum. So really won't be that hard. And if I get anything on Amazon influencer program, it'll make it even easier. The hard part's gonna be walking ten thousand steps a day just because I work a day job. So I'm gonna have to walk between lunches maybe before work if I'm getting up early and definitely after work if it's nice out. So I hope you enjoy the 10, 10, 10 challenge. I hope you enjoyed the bills to billion challenge while it lasted. Like I said, don't worry. I'm still going to be making long form content, still going to be making longer videos on YouTube. Um, I really want to focus on YouTube and the Amazon influencer program and less on sites like mechanical Turk and data annotation and definitely less like remote task. Um, so I'm hoping that doing this challenge kind of sparks it. I already created a separate TikTok channel called Road to Retire, where I'm going to be just posting the same shorts that I post on YouTube to try and just grow my audience, get both audiences connected, maybe get some subscribers here to watch my longer term content. So yeah, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. $226 this week. It's been a great week. And I hope you enjoy the 10, 10, 10 challenge when you're uh looking at my channel so it's earn 10 save 10 walk 10 figured it's makes it easier if you do the same number three times in a row so hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one and have a great sunday night